you guys, and as you can tell from the beginning of that video, we have a pretty bad squeak, and I think the bell is getting old because it's all over my fan, and you can see from right here. I'm glad I'm, it's like deteriorating slowly, so I'm glad I actually am doing this because I just wanted to do it for a long time because it was squeaking more and more, and now it's gotten worse within the last couple of days. And I'm like, oh man, I'm glad I got all the freaking parts. So yeah, here they are. Here are the two pulleys and the belt tensioner, and then a uh, green gates micro V belt. There's a part number. This is the one that everyone said to get, so if not, I'll put a thumbs up or thumbs down if it's correct or not. <laughs> or I might even my name is this video. But yeah, so this is where everyone says everyone says because they sell said that gate sells the whole kit as everything. But everyone's like, if you get that, they might have a chance of them not working or going out or seizing up or whatever. So go GM. So when everything GM except for the belt, which everyone recommends. So should work hopefully and now all I gotta do is make, make sure is to map out where the belt goes so it goes under there to the pulley to the tensioner and then back over here so people say it's not that hard but we'll see and kind of showing you did a little I was messing up and whatnot but <clears throat> there's the two pulleys right here Right there and here and here's my tensioner. But anyways, that's how it goes around for me. Holy crap, dude. Jeez, my freaking neighbor's car is like gonna break down too. Um, so we are taking that. So also I wanna show you, that's what I was gonna say. I don't know how true this is, but let's see if I can get it. You see that line right there? Let's see if we, on the right there on this side right there on the bottom that's supposed to be in the middle of those two so that's kind of my wear point so as you can see it's more on the left side so i don't know how true that is but that's what i heard is that it's supposed to be in the middle and this one's like more towards the other side so that's a good sign to change it i hear quotes so Definitely do, and so now I'm getting the half inch breaker bar. So you need a half inch breaker bar and a 14 millimeter to do this whole job. And then the hardest part is probably gonna get down towards the crank area. So wish me luck. I'm on time crunching, so I'm trying to show you if you can get this done, hopefully pretty fast. But so the hardest part was for me, you should just go buy a freaking serpentine belt, half inch breaker bar. It's a pain, it's doable, but yeah, you have to be like going through this side, then pull up and then turn. It's a pain. And then, so after that, you can do that. And then I still have the the old belt in because I'm trying to get the pulleys out first. So after that, I get the 14 millimeter and then just get one of these ratcheting 14 millimeter wrenches. It's a lot easier and pull on it. And it's just pull on it super hard than I did the first pulley on top and then I did the tensioner and now I got the bottom one but so I had to come from this side just get a little bit more strength on it bam pull it out got a little stool pull it out and now I got that one out but now just gotta get the belt on and then put the pulleys back on and anyone I can say they can do in this 20 minutes is lying this fan if you have the fan shroud or fan shroud out yes maybe but look at that, freaking the bolt is hitting the shroud. So I'm gonna have to finagle that. Ugh, this is stupid. Too, also, it's easier to get the bottom of the crank underneath here, take off your skid plate. It's two or four 15 millimeter bolts, so yeah. Okay, so we got back done. That was the biggest female dog in the world because this thing's indexed differently. So, and you can see, but yeah, but I had to have the breaker bar all the way over here on this side and it was hitting this. So I take this off and it's hitting the fan, it's hitting the freaking AC compressor and yeah, that sucked. So definitely prepare for that. So it's, it's almost like nighttime. So it took me at least a good hour, two hours. <laughs> so be prepared. 
so now she's better no more squeaking or having to worry about that bell yeah. <laughs> Everything's running good. Oh, that's amazing. I'm so glad it's over with. That sucks. But anyways, that's how you do it. It sucks. Uh, prepare if you haven't done this for a while or just prepare for an hour and a half, two hours. Unless you take that shroud out and have a serpentine belt tool from Harbor Freight. That would have saved me a ton of time. So those two things would be, you'd be, probably be done in 20 minutes. But yeah, thanks for watching. Everyone, so next day, everything came out great. Kind of wish I'd not made the belt so dirty, look, not look so nice, but who cares? It's just a belt as long as it works, it works right. Looks really good. So anyways, here's the old belt. It's ready to tear or something because it was deteriorating. But here's all the part numbers. Here's the belt. That's the two pulleys I used, and this is the tensioner. So, way good, way, way, way good. So, I'm glad I did it, but what a pain, what a pain. I'll put down a link below for all this stuff, so you can get it yourself and do your own stuff. But it's really, give yourself about a little less than two hours, you're fine. Good.